Gil Scott Heron, The Revolution Will Not Be Televised. This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org. It's Climate Countdown. We're broadcasting live from Copenhagen. I'm Amy Goodman. And we're joined right now by two journalists who've been covering very closely what's ha happening here at the UN Climate Summit. Um, we're joined by Jade Lindegaard, who works for Mediapart, which is a media website. And Naomi Klein is back with us, uh, who has been covering this climate summit extensively, also speaking at the climate a forum across town and other civil society um, events. Uh, she is blogging for The Nation magazine at thenation.com and author of a number of books, including The Shock Doctrine. We welcome you both to Democracy Now! Uh, Jade Lindegaard, you have some breaking information about documents you've gotten here at the UN Climate Summit. Yeah, a very interesting leak today uh, from the UNFCCC secretariat showing that the targets of reduction emissions that countries now, today, are putting on the table, these targets do not allow to stay below 2 degree rise in temperature. And they even say that it could lead us to a rise of 3 degree in temperature, which is, as we know, catastrophic, if that ever happens. Who is writing this? This is the UNFCCC. It's, so it's not WWF, it's not Greenpeace, it's not Trend of the Earth, it's the Secretariat. And it's an internal note they're having, and they have not yet published, uh, and which is a basis of work for the current negotiations. How did you get it? It's a leak. Naomi so, Klein, yeah. the significance yeah. of this. Well, the, <clears throat> sorry, I have to apologize for my voice, Amy. You guys made me come on. Um, but it, it, it's a metaphor, of course, because everybody's complaining about how they've lost their voice in these proceedings. Um, <laughs> no, this is so significant, because what this, this is the UN itself saying that if all of these countries go off and do what it is that they're promising to do, and let's remember this is the US model, that rather than having um, uh, targets that, 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 that they must meet, there'll be so-called national plans, so every country comes up with their own targets, and then they mash them together. So they've done the math, and they're saying, if the U.S. does what it's saying it's going to do, if the EU does what it's going to do, then all together, the temperatures will increase by three deg degrees, which is catastrophic, because the target it, that, they, that they have said is two degrees, but even that, we've heard from Africa, would be a disaster. It's even it's interesting because if it's it's these these figures that the uh, UN is 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 uh, working on now they are based on what the pledges of countries so it's already based on what countries say they want to do it's not a business as usual it's already taken into account uh, the effort that these countries have said they're willing to to uh, comply to and the truth is it's not enough at all. It's not enough. So, in a way, these all negotiations and these this disagreements these past few days um, around the two the two degree rise, they, they they look like something. You know, it's a bit like theater, because in the end, it doesn't really matter for the people. If it's three degree, it's. It's a nightmare for Africa and AOCs. And just for those who aren't following these negotiations that closely, the UNFCCC stands for the United Nations Framework for Climate Change Convention. 